This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I have good timing. And I've seen The Hatchet-Wielding Hitchhiker, a new documentary feature from Colette Camden. It follows a three-month span of time in early 2013, recapping the rise and fall of Caleb Lawrence, better known on the internet as Kai, a hitchhiker whose split-second actions in a moment of need became a viral sensation within days. It's a fame that came with immediate attention from those who wanted to have their hands on the next big thing, pushing him into the national spotlight and a bright future ahead. However, the layers of Kai's true nature began to unravel within a short amount of time. As his past was uncovered and his personal issues bubbled to the surface, resulting in a criminal tragedy that put everything that came before it in a whole new light. That's how hindsight works, after all. Hindsight is probably a good term to use when it comes to this story, not simply because it's a recounting of the past, but also because of how much the people involved simultaneously expressed surprise at the eventual outcome and regret that they didn't see it coming sooner. Personally, I found it a bit difficult to stomach myself, mostly because almost everybody featured here comes off as opportunistic, making a celebrity out of Kai for their own personal benefit. It's a perspective of the story that actually brings the whole experience backwards, since it paints each of these people as someone you'd want to see fail after taking advantage of Kai. Made worse because they effectively become commentators, talking about what is eventually a true crime story, despite having little to do with that actual crime. In a way, it just makes them seem as if they're trying to make themselves out as unwitting victims, or people who never meant for things to turn out the way they did. Which may be the case, but still does them no other favors. On a similar note, the tone of the story also has a pretty uneven shift when it eventually comes to the true crime. Going from something that's only relatively off-kilter and a bit quirky, to a psychological manhunt of sorts. It's executed about as poorly as I'm able to describe it, and it too hurts the greater story experience with its sensationalization of events. As for the movie's technical aspects, there aren't that many to talk about, since it follows the same sort of template that other true crime documentaries I've seen have come to use. There is at least a good amount more archival material being used, rather than talking heads or reenactments, and there are even a handful of contemporary scenes shot outside of interviews. But unfortunately, it's mostly just people recounting events and details, cutting back and forth with old footage to highlight whatever the greater point is meant to be. It still makes things a bit worse, since, again, the interview snippets come to contrast the archive footage, and makes the movie's primary figures more like villains than anything more complex or even comedic. It could even further prove that Kai's story is a tragedy, being pushed into stardom by those who were unaware of or ignored his mental struggles, likely contributing to those problems and its eventual conclusion. It all makes me feel like if the movie was going to be about these people, the narrative should have been framed to satirize their point of view rather than normalize it. Honestly, I would go as far as to say that this is the kind of story and perspective where they should have skipped the documentary and gone straight for the fictionalized adaptation of the story first. The Hatchet-Wielding Hitchhiker, Colette Camden, 2023. Two stars. I wouldn't really recommend it. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I guess this is my first new movie of the new year. A shame that it couldn't have been handled better. Seriously, it almost feels like a parody or a spoof of itself at times, 
until you realize that it's completely serious.